guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to take a look at the LS3 harness mounted on an engine. This is going to show you how it routes and kind of lays out on the engine to make it easier for you guys to install since we've been getting a lot of questions. So this main merger has got to sit basically right in the center of the intake manifold at the rear of the motor here. So what this is going to do is going to give you good ample length to plug in your injectors and coils and those items. You're going to want to make sure you ground these three ring terminals here at the back of the cylinder heads. So what, these are important because they ground the coils and they're also the main ground for the engine harness. So we can move forward a little bit here. We've got everything routed nice and neatly in the valley there. And then what I really wanted to focus on was how to route the camshaft position sensor. So this branch right here is the camshaft position sensor and the alternator. And as you can see, it's going underneath the throttle body above the water pump and then it's going down here into the power steering pump area and you're not going to use your factory cam extension you're just going to remove that and you're going to plug directly into the cam sensor with our harness so with it routed like this you'll have ample length to be able to plug in both the cam sensor and the alternator without a problem this harness is built for a VVT motor, so we don't have that plugged in since this motor is not VVT. Another important thing is the routing of the knock sensors. So you can see this driver side knock sensor here. So this driver side knock sensor here, it comes from the front of the motor and goes back along the block. So you're going to want to secure it with some P-clamps or something to the oil pan bolts when you get it plugged in. So that's just kind of resting there. So the other knock sensor on the passenger side, it routes from the rear of the engine with the starting wire. So here's our starter and knock sensor items here. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna fit tightly to the block like this. You're of course going to plug in your crank sensor. It's easier to do when you remove your starter. And then same idea, you're going to plug your knock sensor in. If you have to secure it to the side of the block, that way you don't have it rest against the headers or any kind of exhaust, depending on what setup you have. But hopefully that'll give you guys a better idea of exactly how it installs and make your life a little bit easier.